Hey y'all, welcome to 6th grade, chapter 10, lesson 2. We're going to go ahead and get started with number 2. So the area of a triangle, you can do it two different ways. You can do base times height like we've been doing and then divide it by 2. Or you can do base times height and then multiply it by a half. Okay, it equals out to the same thing. Okay, it's just, it depends on whether you have a fraction or what. So, or what's easier. So, we're going to go ahead and get started with number 2. Okay, so it says 37 times 50, because we're doing base times height, okay? Now, I'm going to take that zero, and I'm just going to put it on the end there, okay? And then 5 times 7 is 35, carry the 3. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 3 more is 18, okay? Now, I'm going to go ahead and do the divide by 2 on this one. Okay, so 2 goes into not 1, but 2 will go into 18 9 times. 9 times 2 is 18. Get 0. Okay, 0 is smaller than 2, so I'm going to bring down my 5. 2 goes into 5 2 times. 2 times 2 is 4. Subtract, get 1. Okay, 1 is smaller than 2, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring down my last 0 there. 2 goes into 10. 5 times, 5 times 2 is 10, subtract, get 0. So now, 925. And it's going to be centimeters, but we multiplied centimeters by centimeters, so it's centimeters squared. Okay? Okay, let's do another one, guys, okay? This one is 20 times 40. Okay? Now, I'm going to take those two zeros, and I'm just going to put them on the end, and then I'm going to do 4 times 2 is 8, okay? Well, 800 divided by 2, okay? Well, 2 goes into 8, 4 times, 4 times 2 is 8, 0. Now, because this ends in a 0 and I have two zeros here, I can just go ahead and put those two zeros up top, okay? 400. And we're dealing with millimeters, and we multiplied millimeters by millimeters, so it's millimeters squared. Okay? All right. So, let's do one more. Okay? All right. I'm going to go ahead and put the 12 up top so I can put the 30 down on the bottom, and then I can cross off that zero and put it on the end. Okay, now 3 times 2 is 6, and 3 times 1 is 3. So, 360 divided by 2. Okay, 2 goes into 3 one time. 1 times 2 is 2. Subtract and get 1. 1 is smaller than 2, so I'm going to bring down my 6. 2 goes into 16 8 times. 8 times 2 is 16. Subtract and get 0. I ended on a zero, and I only have a zero left. I'm going to go ahead and move that zero up. Okay? Little shortcuts, guys. They help. So 180, it's in inches, and we multiplied inches by inches, so it's inches squared. Okay? All right. You guys are going to do through nine. So you're going to do five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We're going to go down, and we're going to start with ten. Okay? So this Fabian is decorating our triangular pennant for a football game. The pennant has a base of 10 inches and a height of 24 inches. So, 24 times 10, okay? Move that over so you can see it. Okay, now I'm going to take that zero and I'll put it on the end and 1 times 24, it's going to be 24. Okay, now we need to do that 2240 and we need to divide it by 2. 2 goes into 2. One time, one times two is two, subtract, get zero. Zero is definitely smaller than two, so I'm going to go ahead and bring down my four. Two goes into four, two times, two times two is four, subtract, and get zero. Now, I ended in a zero, and I only have a zero left, so I'm going to move it up. So, 120, and we're dealing with inches, and we multiplied inches by inches, so it's inches squared. 
Okay, go back and write down your work, guys. You gotta show your work, okay? All right, so we're gonna move on. It says Ryan is buying a triangular tract of land. The land, sorry, the triangle has a base of 100 yards and a height of 300 yards. What's the area of the tract of land? Well, 100 times 300. All those zeros, one, two, three, four, I'm gonna put right there, and then three times one is three. Okay, but now I need to cut that in two. Okay, I'm gonna move that a little bit so y'all can see. Okay, so now two goes into three. One time, one times two is two. Subtract and get one. One is smaller than two, so I'm gonna bring down my zero. Two goes into 10, five times. Five times two is 10. Subtract and get zero. I ended in a zero and I have one, two, three more zeros. So one, two, three zeros. So 15,000, and we're dealing with yards. And we multiply yards by yards, so it's yards squared. Okay, not so bad, guys, okay? All right, we're going to go on to the back where you guys are going to do the lesson check, just like always. Okay, and we're going to go down and do the spiral review. It says Jack bought three protein bars for a total of $4.26, which equation could be used to find the cost C in dollars for each protein bar? Well, if three protein bars are $4.26. You're done. That, you guys can see it. There we go. All right, I've got light coming in my window. Okay. Coach Herrera is buying tennis balls for his team. He can solve the equation 4C equals 92 to find out how many cans of balls he needs. How many cans does he need? Well, 4C equals 92. Well, we know that this means multiplication and in order to get this alone to find out how many cans i need i need to do the opposite so i'm going to divide by four divide by four because whatever i do to this side of equal sign i have to do to this side so 92 divided by four okay four is going to go into nine two times two times four is eight subtract and get one one is definitely smaller than four so i'm going to bring down my two and four goes into 12 Three times, three times four is 12, subtract, get zero. So 23 cans. Okay, make sure you guys go back and write your work down, okay? Move that over a little bit so you guys can see it without the light shining on it. Okay. All right. Sketch the graph of y is less than or equal to negative seven, okay? So we're gonna go to negative seven because that's the number it gives us. We're gonna put a circle. Now, the equal to extra lines, you fill it in, okay? Now, if it is less than or equal to, well, this is the way you go for less than. You're done, okay? A square photograph has a perimeter of 20 inches. What is the area of the photograph? Okay. So, a square, okay, a perimeter means inches around, okay? It means we're going around it, okay? So, 20, and it has one, two, three, four sides, so 20, divided by four is five. That means that each side has five, okay? So now the area of the photograph is the base times the height. Well, five times five is 25, and we're dealing in inches. And we multiplied inches by inches, so it's inches squared, okay? All right, y'all, thanks for hanging out for 10.2. Come on back for 10.3 soon.